It's great to be back here uh, at TEDx Tokyo, six years after I introduced my movie, Saving 10,000, Winning a War on Suicide in Japan. At the time, uh, my efforts with the movie weren't going very well. I wasn't getting a lot of interest in it at all. I had maybe 3,000 views on YouTube. Um, Patrick kindly invited me to give the talk. Uh, that day, as I walked home after TEDx Tokyo 2013, I was in floods of tears um, because around 50 or 60 people had shared their stories of loss of a friend, of a family member that they had, had, um, had deeply missed. And this was a trend that I would see uh, again and again as I did basically over 100 events around Japan. Uh, hearing amazing stories, hearing, seeing inspirational people uh, ladies out in Chiba, over 70 years of age, answering the phone in Inochi no Denma every night. So, um, so to update, there's some good news, but there's also some bad news. And the bad news is the reason why I'm really here today. Um, the good news first, the suicide rate in Japan is, has now gone from 30,000 down to 20,000. So it has reduced by one third, okay? Thanks to the amazing efforts of many of those people I feature in the movie, like, like Shige-san on Tojumbo Cliff, who has now stopped 600 people jumping off that cliff, okay? This is amazing thing. So the suicide rate in Japan is now at a 40-year low. However, youth suicide was, is now at a 40-year high. 599 children killed themselves last year, which is the highest since records began. This weekend, ladies and gentlemen, this particular weekend, over the last 20 years, has been the worst weekend for child suicide. It's been the peak every year for the last 20 years. Why is that? It's because children are going back to school tomorrow. So... I literally only have one minute left, so let me give you two important statistics that I'm starting to work on, looking perhaps for another project. Number one is that there were 414,000 cases of bullying in schools last year. 414,000. For every school day, 2,000 cases. This is, um, it's very hard to kind of uh, understand that figure, but let me give you a positive um, uh, note on that is that 317,000 of those cases were at primary school level, elementary school level. And why I say that's a positive is because these 6 to 12 year olds don't really know what bullying is. So that's a chance for us to, to define what they're doing is wrong and the, and the terrible damage that it causes. My final point uh, on, on the statistics is it's an even more difficult topic to talk about, which is child abuse. Child abuse last year in Japan was 159,000 cases. This, uh, if we're looking to, to save children's lives, we have to detect and protect. Now, actually, in child abuse, detection is going very well because this figure is 340% up than 10 years ago which I'm sure it was around the same level, but we're just detecting more. But my final point today is on the protect. For those children who go to child welfare centers, which there's 200 in Japan, and there's 3,400 amazing social workers to help those children, but that's not enough. And some of those social workers are, are handling 100 cases at the same time. So detect and protect because what is more important than to protect the life of a child? Thank you very much.